<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a break. We're just now leaping Salida, and I am no longer solo. Chris is with me. Good to be with you. Absolutely, the feeling is mutual because now I can be careless. And now we are on our way to Gunnison to get me, myself some new shoes. You know how you're really full right now? Yeah. We're on Starvation Creek. <laughs> That's pretty good. We are having a coasting contest. <laughs> yep. This is kind of fun. This is what we do when we're almost out of gas. <laughs> Which we are not. <laughs> I can hear everything rattling in my side cases. I can hear everything in your side cases. This was kind of fun. Good idea, Hans. Beautiful valley. Holy smokes. Hard to get tired of this. Ready? Yep. All right, thanks for the photo op. Ten thousand feet. Hello. Chris and I finished uh, Cinnamon Pass, and uh, we're not sure which pass this is. Uh, we just passed Frisco Mines, and uh, or Mine. Oh, that feels so good being in the snow. again we are going up the tap goes up and my GPS to Silverton also takes us up okay do you need to put your rain gear on no okay doesn't look like it's that widespread to me what's a little hypothermia to add to the equation bingo
Hey, Chris, it's a little wet up here, okay? Seven miles to the highway. But yeah, heading south out of Silverton right now toward Durango and then looping back up toward the northwest to Monticello. Hey, good morning. We just left Monticello, Utah. We are heading toward Moab but we're eventually gonna have to get off the trail before Moab because of a forest fire that's active. But it's a beautiful morning, not too hot yet. Yeah, I'm feeling way better after my uh, altitude sickness or food poisoning or whatever the hell it was. Look at that. It's impressive. stopping in 100 degree weather. I know. All right, we're back on the tat. Uh, yesterday was a wash uh, for uh, ailments and motorcycle parts, and we left. Where did we leave this morning, Chris? Monticello. Monticello, Utah. And that was about 100 miles ago. And now we are just north of Moab. 102 degrees right now. And it isn't bad when we're moving, but boy, when we stand still, we are dying. I'm not a fan of the sand. I hate the sand. Just gonna say it now.
So Hans, what was the uh, campground we stayed at last night? Last night we stayed at Joe's Valley Campground, which is uh, next to a reservoir. Yeah. Uh, I really liked it. It was extremely secluded. Uh, plenty of spots to uh, just first come first serve, so no problems there. Yeah. Temperature was good too, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The temp. Once that sun started going down, it was really nice. And uh, what, it, Chris? We went from over 100 degrees yesterday to 45 degrees this morning, right? Yeah. Hello. Cool. This is beautiful, man. Gusts <laughs> and a sandstorm warning, and we're just getting sand blasted outside. <coughs> now it's about to start raining with our 60 mile an hour gusts. I hope this hiking bike tent withstands it. All right, we just crossed over into Oregon last night, stayed at a campground with a sandstorm, 60 mile an hour wind gusts, a little bit of rain added in there birds that took a shit inside my dry bag. <laughs> what else, Hans? I think you about said it all, man. The winds are so bad, they blew the dust and sand through the screens of your tent. Yeah, I had to turn my tent inside out, shake the dust out. And now we're heading up into some hills here. We have no idea what awaits us. a cow, that's where I'd be too. This road is going to be more blocked on this side.
No, we're good. Hey, when you come out on the road, look at that sign. Can you tell me what it says? It's on your left. 435. Oh, so it is a road, huh? This looks like a Chris photo. Oh, check that shit out. Oh, Was that right? Uh, yes. We had a great campsite, no cell service. Looking forward to checking in with Rebecca when we get cell service back. We had a dark cloud over us, turned out to be a squall. We had to dash to get everything under uh, cover in time before it got too wet. Beautiful little campsite, almost nobody else there. Cost us four bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, back on the, well, we were on the tat the whole time, actually. But uh, back on the gravel, more to come. So we went through the town of Prineville. Quite a bit of pavement right after that town and beautiful uh, curvy road along the river. And now we've got this straight road through the high desert on loose gravel, which is not a lot of fun. But I'm able to hold, you know, 50 miles an hour. There were some crazy roads back in here. I like it. I think this may be the coolest road of the Tat so far. Super flowy and smooth. Little whoops. Hans and I just left the, what was it called, Hans? The Digit Campground. Well, before the Digit Campground, when we were doing laundry in a nearby town, we realized my front tire pressure was extremely low. It appears to be leaking out of the bead. I think it's the tire, because we had you know, kind of similar problems with my back tire. Both of them were the Motaz Adventure tires. And uh, so we are looking for a place to buy a new tire. It's kind of the top priority today. So we're, we're riding out, but then once we get to a paved road, we're gonna see what we can find. That's the plan. We are stuck behind some fallen trees. There's our bikes over there. This is 
that's how it goes. Take us to cycle gear. I think we could walk it on that log to your right. done with our hotel at Grants Pass and we are reconnecting with the TAT and I have a new front tire so hopefully fingers crossed this is our last day and we'll get to Port Orford later today Dude, look at that. We have a closed gate. We are rolling down the mountains toward the coastline here. You can tell there's some fantastic views if the trees weren't here. Lots of potholes on this road, so we gotta kinda watch out for them. Most of them are marked with like paint. They've got work crews in the area, so nice that at least they mark most of the potholes for you.